South Korea's next-generation fighter program is making a decisive leap forward, as Korea Aerospace Industries, KAI, confirmed plans to equip the KF-21EX Boramae with an internal weapons bay, a game-changing addition that brings the aircraft closer to true fifth-generation stealth performance. The announcement was made during a South Korean Air Force conference in Taejeon on July 28, 2025, signaling a major shift in the KF-21's evolution from a 4.5-generation platform into a stealth-dominant multi-role fighter. This structural redesign enables the KF-21EX to house heavy precision munitions, including 2,000-pound class bombs, meteor-long-range air-to-air missiles, and advanced small-diameter bombs, inside the fuselage, eliminating the drag and radar signature penalties of external hardpoints. By moving its arsenal internally, the fighter not only achieves better aerodynamics, fuel efficiency, and high-speed maneuverability but also gains a critical edge in low observable operations, rivaling stealth leaders like the F-35, Su-57, and J-20. The KF-21EX is set to become the core manned node in South Korea's developing next air combat system, NACS, a vast network integrating manned jets, AI-driven drones, swarm tactics, and real-time multi-domain coordination. During contested missions, unmanned teammates will jam enemy defenses, relay targeting data, and execute high-risk strikes while the KF-21EX maintains stealth dominance and overall command of the operation. This approach aims to deliver synchronized precision strikes across distributed battle spaces without relying on centralized ground control. KAI's 5.5-generation roadmap incorporates sweeping structural and electronic enhancements to achieve this vision. The Barami's profile is reshaped with stealth-friendly canopy and radome contours, radar-absorbent coatings, and optimized exhaust nozzles for infrared suppression. Embedded antennas and conformal sensors reduce protrusions, while advanced systems like an electro-optical targeting system, distributed apertures, and AESA radar feed into an AI-powered mission computer capable of threat prioritization, autonomous flight planning, and real-time sensor fusion. Defensive measures include Leonardo's bright cloud decoys for surviving modern radar-guided threats. The fighter's lineage traces back to the KFX project launched in 2001 to replace aging F-4 and F-5 fleets. After years of design refinement and six successful prototypes, full-scale production began in 2024, with 120 aircraft planned through 2032. The KF-21EX variant pushes the design into stealth territory, laying the foundation for an eventual sixth-generation platform featuring tailless aerodynamics, directed energy weapons, and fully autonomous AI piloting capabilities. Powered by twin General Electric F414 GE 400K afterburning turbofans producing up to 22,000 pounds of thrust each, the KF 21EX retains a top speed of Mach 1.8 while increasing mission range and payload flexibility through its cleaner aerodynamic profile. Its modular design anticipates future weapon systems, AI assisted mission payloads, and energy based armaments. Two additional variants are on the drawing board. The KF-21EA, modeled on the EA-18G Growler for electronic warfare and SEAD missions, and the KF-21SA, tailored for export customers. However, these remain conceptual, with operational deployment projected to be more than a decade away. Defense analysts warn that achieving early production milestones for the KF-21 EX is critical if South Korea intends to challenge the dominance of Western stealth fighters in the global market. With the integration of internal weapon bays and a forward-looking design philosophy, the KF-21EX is positioning itself as a formidable contender in the stealth arena, potentially narrowing the gap between established fifth-generation fighters and the next wave of air combat technology.